The Computer Misuse Amendment Act 2022 has been passed into law. Let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Agarev Joan, and this is Yes Me About the channel where we have free and honest conversations about the law. And today's context is the Computer Misuse Act. So the act kicks off by defining who a leader is, and it states that a leader in regards to the context of this act is a leader as defined in the Leadership Codes Act. In the context of limiting it short, this video short, basically it's talking about politicians and their political offices. But I'm going to leave screenshots up here in regards to what is provided for under the Leadership Code Act of who is a leader. So these are the individuals that are being talked about every time I make reference to a leader in this. Now let's dig deeper into what it defines as an offense. So it says that a person who without authorization accesses or intercepts any or any program or another person's data or information, voice or video records another person or shares any information about or relates to another person commits an offense. So what that's what is defined as an offense. So if you retweet, if you share in a WhatsApp group, if you comment in a WhatsApp group, if you basically you get the context and you are intercepting another person's communication or you're sharing information about them, you are committing an offense. So it proceeds to state that a person who commits an offense under this section is liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding 750 currency points or imprisonment. In regards to the conversation about unauthorized sharing of information about children, it provides that a person shall not send or share or transmit any information about or relating to a child through a computer unless the person obtains consent of that child's parents, guardian, or any other person having authority to make decisions on behalf of the child so the implication of this will extend to social media so you cannot be sharing people's children on social media without the parents consent if you are found guilty of violating this provision you will be held liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding 500 currency points which is equivalent to this or imprisonment or serving seven years or both now this is the elephant in the room hate speech it provides that a person shall not write send or share any information through a computer which is likely to ridicule degrade or demean any other person group of persons a tribe an ethnicity a religion or a gender and then it creates um if you create gender diversion among people tribe or if you create diversion among persons a tribe ethnicity religion or gender or if you promote hostility against another person group of persons a tribe or an ethnicity a religion or agenda you will be contributing to creating hate speech and then lastly if you are found guilty of the offense and you will be held liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding 700 currency points or imprisonment which is equivalent to this not exceeding seven years or both. It proceeds to talk about unsolicited information. A person shall not send or share with another person unsolicited information through a computer. A person who contravenes this uh, commits an offense and is liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding 700 currency points or imprisonment or um, imprisonment not exceeding seven years or both. It also creates the offense of malicious or misleading information. Now, it says that a person who sends, shares, or transmits any misleading information about or relating to any other person through a computer, if found guilty of this offense, you will be held liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding 700 currency, 750 currency points or imprisonment not exceeding seven years or so lastly, if you are found guilty of any of these above offenses that are provided for in this act, you cannot uh, you cannot be eligible to hold a public office for a period of 10 years. And if a person is convicted under this act and they are a leader of any public office or they are in public office, that person shall, in addition to the prescribed punishment that is provided for under any of these offenses, you will be dismissed from your office and you will be required to vacate your office. So that is it in summary in regards to the Computer Misuse Amendment Act 2022, which is now the law of Uganda. So before you tweet 
uh, share that video you know make it go viral or comment or share in a whatsapp group or send that message take care hello my name is Agaev Joan and you have been watching the ask me about the law channel where we have fair and honest conversations about the law make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on weekly notifications and conversations about the law if you have any more questions inquiries about this matter please leave it in the comment section of this video and make sure you check out the description box of this video for more information about ask me about the law and i will see you in the next video which is next week